A lot of you are asking us, how can you hire good salespeople for jewelry or even find these candidates? Number one, start at Indeed. That seems to be a good hiring pool. Number two, what type of past experience do you want to see if somebody hasn't done jewelry before? There's going to be a couple of roles that seem to yield standout candidates for jewelry. Number one would be car sales. This is where I had come from, and it's a strength coming from car sales because the sales process is so complex. There's financing, there's all kinds of moving parts. If you're doing higher end jewelry, a car guy could be a secret weapon. They'll absolutely shoot the lights out for you if you've got higher ticket items. Another one could be pawn shop experience just because of the extreme situations that these people have to be in, and a lot of the time it's high pressure, pawn shop experience tends to translate well to jewelry sales. Another one is wine and spirits or bartending. I had come from wine and spirits also in the past, so if you can do some type of hospitality and service while having to talk to people over a counter, that seems to translate as well. So those are three main ones, or four, I guess three or four, depending on what you're counting. Another one could just be somebody that is hungry and absolutely needs to make something happen. So maybe they're in some extreme circumstance and they're going to be pushed against the wall enough to get great at sales. Those are almost the best types of jewelry hires. So there's just a couple of people that you can keep in mind. Indeed is a great talent pool to look into. And if you find those types of resumes, you're gonna do well in jewelry sales.